Hi, I'm Christopher Daniel from Peihua Secondary School. My team ID is RCAP22SG7072 and my team name is PHCS3. I am 15 years old and I'm competing for Singapore. I was first introduced to coding and robotics when I was 8. Since then, I've had coding experience in four languages and I've also coded multiple different robots. Some experience I've had in competitions prior to this include NRC in 2018, RoboCup on stage in 2020 and 2021, which were both canceled due to COVID, and Co-Space Rescue First Steps U19 in 2022. This year, I'm also taking part in Co-Space Rescue U19. In the competition, the main aim is to collect objects and then deposit them in order to get points. However, sometimes if you collect them in a specific order, another object worth more points, called a super object, will form. You should also avoid traps as they cause you to lose points. They are all labelled in the diagram below. Some problems I faced were the grey boxes on the map that make the robot lose its position. These often cause the robot to malfunction during the competition. However, I eventually figured out a way to solve it. I had to use two different pieces of code for the border and the grey boxes as their code is mainly similar. While seemingly similar, the similarities end when position comes into play. So this is how we avoid the boxes when they are both so similar. At the border, you have a specific position. However, when the robot's in the boxes, it has none. I use this to my advantage to code a way to differentiate the two and eventually figured out a workaround. This is the code. As you can see, there is a major difference in the code I ended up using for the border and the box. Solving the problem helped me to do better and get into the finals. This is what the game will look like. In the real world, there are so many problems that robots have helped us to solve. One example of this is using drones to supply emergency supplies to those in war. Drones are flown into these areas because it's efficient and safer than flying in another human. Through this competition, I've learned about sensing colors from items, collecting them, finding them, de depositing them, and avoiding obstacles. All these can be used to help drones do a better job at delivering supplies. Sensing colors can let the drone know what type of terrain it's on. They can sense the color of the terrain beneath them and know whether there is safe land for them to land on using color sensors. Collecting items can be used to collect supplies from one place, and depositing items can be applied to help the drone deposit the supplies to the soldiers. Avoiding obstacles will help the drone to avoid buildings in its path, and natural obstacles like trees or mountains. The grey boxes could represent places where the drone drops out of signal, and therefore has to rely on itself to pathfind out of them. Thank you for listening to my presentation, I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider liking the video.